Hi, I'm Kat. So, a few hours ago, I posted the fifth and final installment of the Dollar Tree to Luxury Makeover series, starring a Dollar Tree $1 desk. So, out of that desk, I made five different pieces of furniture, and I wanted to quickly go on ahead and recap the furniture pieces from uh, with you guys, and also to see the direction that you'd like to see me head um, in the near future, as far as additional installment pieces go. Um, so the first piece I did was, using this particular desk, a Hollywood glam styled piece. This was a vanity, and I mirrored this top to bottom, um, and, but made very few actual cosmetic changes to the desk. So I did taper the legs and then glue them back on, and then I added mirrors to everything. But other than painting and adding mirrors, I made no real changes to this. And I, it ended up having a really nice impact. The second piece I made was a, a industrial style piece. Now, personally, I'm not keen on industrial style. And I made very few changes to this too, but I did explore changing it just a little bit more by pulling the bottom panel out where it normally supports the drawers and dropping that all the way down to the bottom to give it an additional shelf. So that was something that, you know, um, explored the idea of breaking apart the furniture and reapplying it in a different way. The third piece I made was kind of a complete turnover as far as the furniture went. Literally, I turned the desk over and built it from the bottom, from the top to the bottom, um, using the top as the bottom. And in doing this, I an managed to make an entirely different piece of furniture, a sitting area instead of a surface area. So um, for that reason, I think this one was probably my favorite piece or my second favorite piece. The third one I made was a mission style desk. And the biggest changes I made to this was removing the bottom surface of the drawers again and making that into a hutch. Um, and then of course I had to add some additional drawers and some additional cabinets to it as well. Um, this one's not my favorite piece even though I love arts and crafts and mission style furniture. This just didn't do that much for me personally. And then of course the fifth piece was a second or first favorite, I'm not really sure between this or the bench which one I like the best, but this is definitely along more of my personal design aesthetic where I really love contemporary and modern style furniture. So um, I love the clamshell pulls and I love the vessel sink and I love exposed piping. For this one I removed the bottom, one of the drawers, and then I removed and replaced the legs in order to give this the final appearance. So. Those were the five looks that I explored with this particular desk. So I want to know from you, through the comments below, if you would like to see some additional styles of desk. I did consider doing a mid-century modern style, and I'm showing you pictures of some examples, but not necessarily things I would build. I considered doing a Scandinavian piece, and if you think of Scandinavian, just think IKEA. Um, I personally love bo boho or bohemian style furniture, so I definitely considered that. Um, I considered a farmhouse style, you know, piece of furniture. And I've also been kind of exploring urban, modern style furniture lately. You'll see something in the near future with that. And um, also come some shabby chic. Um, personally, shabby chic doesn't do anything for me. But if it does something for you, I'd love to recreate it. Or perhaps you would like to see me do other pieces of furniture. There is a low dresser, a tall dresser, a tiny bed, a chair, and a table. So if you'd like me to explore doing some things with those styles, I'm willing to do so. You just have to let me know in the comments if you want me to redo the desk or redo some other pieces. I won't be doing these until probably after school starts, but I will be getting on those pretty quickly. Just let me know in the comments what you would like to see. That's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.